Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode of Coaching Conversations. And I wanted to make you aware of something very cool that we're doing on a subscription basis, and we'll put a link in each one of our episodes. But every Wednesday, we're going to be doing what we call an audio podcast workshop. That workshop will be roughly about 14 to maybe 20 minutes per episode with each month having the theme from a coaching model, using feedback strategically to coaching self-awareness and so on. So if you could look in the body or in the content description of each episode, and you will see a link where you can join this subscription. These are literally four workshops every month teaching specific strategies to address a particular area of workplace coaching uh, as it relates, again, to things like awareness, motivation, teamwork, and what have you. Here's the cool thing. It's only $10 per month, and each month you will get a handout that we will follow along with, so we also give you a tool for you to take notes as we go through each episode. We hope you'll check it out. One of the fundamental things that we have to do when we coach is very, very simple. And I think sometimes as coaches, we present company included, can make things more complicated than what they really are. So when you think about coaching, what you're really doing, whether it's something that's constructive or you're leveraging a strength to go to the next level, I always think about it from point A to point C, and point B is the action you need to take. Basically, it's a gap analysis. I always go back to coaching to your present. And I think one of the healthiest things that we can do is to ask people, as you sit here today, what do you love? What do you like? What do you dislike? What do you think your strengths are? Where do you feel like you have opportunities to grow? That's your present state, very similar to the whiteboard coaching. And then when you go and you ask about the future and say, you know, where do you want to end up? And I just asked somebody this question at one of our clients' site. He goes, well, it's really a you know evolving thing. And he went into this esoteric description of not knowing. I said, what do you want to do? And he couldn't answer me. And I said, okay, as you sit here today, be honest with me. Do you love, do you like, or do you dislike your job? Be honest. I won't repeat it to anybody. He said, I like it. He said, I do not dislike it. There are things I do dislike I don't know if there's many things that I love. I said, great, forget about jobs. If you could do something tomorrow, what would you love to be doing? He said, something with computers. I said, what does that look like? He said, I have no idea. And he's someone who's out in the field working with people. I said, well, how often do you get on the computer and you use technology? He said, rarely. I said, does it make you edgy? Does it, you know, how does that make you feel? And he said, Edgy, I I just, I hate it. I love technology. I said, it's funny. When I first asked you, you didn't know. And he said, well, I thought you were asking about a job. See, what we have to do is be very careful when we talk about our present. And then we talk about where does somebody want to go? What do they want to end up? They will immediately gravitate because we've conditioned this as companies and as leaders to that destination being the job type. And again, I go back to Julie Winkle's Book promotions are so yesterday. It's not always a job type. It's the type of work that they'd like to be doing. So think about present, future, how do we get there? Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. And recently, we just created a new service called Coach to You where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign 7 to 21-day programs for employees to learn and, more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called Coach to You. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.